Hello, everyone. Happy August 3rd, 2022. This is Carmine coming to you live from New York City. So today is a Wednesday. The sun is out. Uh, the heat wave uh, is taking a break right now. It'll be back this afternoon. But for the morning, uh, it took a little break. So I was wondering, number one, as I always do, where am I going to go take photographs? And number two, what gear should I take? So I said, you know what? I think you guys would love to hear about a $198 kit for $198 including shipping from Japan on eBay I picked up the Olympus E620 with two lenses this is the Olympus E620 uh, it came out in 2009 flippy screen oops wrong way complete with a flippy screen and it has the control panel right here right this is an incredible piece of kit this is an Olympus digital camera it's a real DSLR this has got a prism and a mirror and the light goes through here hits a mirror this is not mirrorless it goes up it hits the prism and comes out the viewfinder this camera in 2009 when it came out I'm looking at the DP review website they reviewed this camera um, in 2009 the camera came out in February of 2009 and DP review reviewed the camera in July of 2009 and gave it a highly recommended verdict let's just say this camera uh, I'm just gonna go through a few specs 12 megapixels it's a four-thirds sensor which is exactly half the size of a full frame 35 millimeter sensor uh, the lenses let me make sure this is off the lenses that it comes with okay are four-thirds mount this is four-thirds mount this is not micro four-thirds mount micro four-thirds mount lenses and micro four-thirds mount lenses are different size than four-thirds mount lenses okay uh, which brings down the cost of this whole kit so let's just keep going uh, it's a CMOS sensor the ISO native is 100 and it goes up to 3200 um, let's see uh, fully articulated LCD screen I showed you that it's 2.7 inches this is a 2.7 inch measure diagonally screen uh, it uses compact flash which is very inexpensive and very easy to find okay it also uses the XD picture cards don't even think about looking for them because it's hard enough to find them but it's hard enough to find an adapter to plug it into your computer to view the files so don't even think about it but Olympus was smart enough to put dual card slots right the XD picture card slot and good old CF card slot the CF card goes right there let's just put pop that in okay uh, let's continue um, it weighs uh, about a pound without the lens um, let's see DP review gave this a highly recommended review like I mentioned and it said it's good for anyone wanting a small but capable 
all-rounder. And I could not agree more. So, for $198, I got this on eBay. It came in from Japan. That included the shipping. I got it from a seller with 100% feedback credibility score. Okay, it came with two lenses. This is the 40 to 150 millimeter. 40 to 150 millimeter. Now, because the sensor is half the size of 35 millimeter, the multiplication of the a factor is two. So this is really an 80 to 300. Look at that, that's a 300 millimeter equivalent and it's smaller than my hand, okay? So, like I said, it came with two lenses. It also came with the standard, uh, I think it was a 40, the 14 to 42, something like that. I have it up there. Now, all of you out there who are thinking, geez, you know, I saw when Carmi took the lens off, it had a plastic mount. Yeah. You know what Carmine says? Big deal. If you're gentle with your gear, okay? If you're gentle with your gear, that plastic lens mount means nothing. Sure, shiny chrome metal one would look great. It has nothing to do with performance. A metal one will wear out the same rate as this plastic one. Just be gentle. Don't be a gorilla, okay? Um, this has a few things that some modern cameras wish they had. This has built-in image stabilization. All right, guys? So that means that your lenses, which are dirt cheap, don't need to have optical image stabilization because the camera body has it okay and it even has different modes of image stabilization for example the first mode is it's stabilized period the second mode would be let's say you want to pan something say you have a person on a bicycle right and you want to get them nice and sharp so you pan click while they're moving so they're perfectly sharp, but the background's blurry. It doesn't fight you. The image stabilization doesn't fight you. You put it on the mode for horizontal panning. It's incredible. So what other features does this have that cameras don't have? Modern cameras don't have anymore. Turn it on, okay? Press this little button. Oh, what's that? That's a pop-up flash. And if you've been watching my channel, you guys know that a pop-up flash is priceless. You put on a $5 diffuser. It goes in the hot shoe. And now look, now you have a fully diffused pop-up flash, which will eliminate all the harsh shadows. And this gives you absolute perfect portraits indoors or outdoors. So what else? What else did I want to tell you about this camera? Okay. So it has a um, viewfinder, right? It's a DSLR. It has a, an optical viewfinder. You're looking right through the lens. Okay. But it also has something else just get it set so I can show you guys okay you press this button oh and what do we have here we have live view this camera for $198 with two lenses comes with live view can you believe this live view in the back screen this is incredible it's a camera with a mirror but it's, it also acts as a camera without a mirror. Look at this, we'll go in live view right here. This is just an incredible piece of kit. So I can't stress it enough that you guys 
that have very expensive cameras in the $5,000, $6,000 range without lenses. You have to understand that there are people like me that enjoy photography but do not want to spend anywhere in the $1,000 range. Whether they have the money or not, some people know that you can take beautiful photographs with kit like this, a 2009 Olympus digital camera. Now, I'm gonna show you right now five photographs that I took this morning, August 3rd, 2022, just to show you the kind of photographs you can take. Now, this camera has art filter setting. It has built-in art filters. Did I use them? Yeah. I also have software called Luminar 4, which tweaks the pictures, adds a cloud, adds some drama to the pictures, right? Don't forget, Luminar 4 software, you buy it once. It's not a monthly charge. And you add clouds, you add a little contrast. You're gonna do that anyway, no matter what camera you have. But let's take a look at the five photographs I took today with this $198 kit. The Olympus E620, 12 megapixels, and the 40 to 150 Olympus Zuko lens. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Olympus, Olympus makes some of the best lenses in the world. Also, here's a little secret. The color science in Olympus is rated amongst the top two camera color sciences in all of digital photography. Okay, let's look at the photographs right now. And I give this my highly recommended Olympus E620. Let's take a look at the five photographs right now that I took using this setup right now. 